as part of my fragrance x order i decided to finally order this which is delicious feelings by gail Heyman, and this is as you can see this is brand new scent because this is the eau de toilette and i think traditionally this is a perfume that you can only you could only get in eau de parfum and i think the two perfumes um from what i can see from the notes they're actually completely different scents and the other one is supposed to be more jasmine heavy and it doesn't have as many notes as this one i don't think and it's supposed to be soapy and clean you know all of those things but i think it's a soapy jasmine whereas this one is quite tangy so um there's a couple of things i know about gail Heyman. one is that lots of super really nice cheap perfumes um also terrible terrible tacky lids but tacky lids that smell foul this smells disgusting so <laughs> i mean it smells so gross and i'm trying to think it smells uh, savory almost like garlic plastic and garlic it's it's awful it's horrible almost smells like meat or something it's gross so what i will be doing is i will be putting that back in the box in case i just don't want to keep this one and i will be leaving this to breathe um, because it definitely permeates when you spray it so if i give this boof, boof, a couple of sprays clean out the clean it out a little bit let it calm down also another one of those that's got quite a wide bottle and therefore the actual sprayer you know it's um <laughs> kind of goes everywhere so it's all over my fingers now anyway i have it on a tester strip as well now this is really intriguing i'm going to read you the notes um so well, i can kind of taste it i managed to spray it and get it in my mouth it's not delicious to eat top notes of delicious feelings eau de toilette are apple red currant and pepper Middle notes are peony, orris, and jasmine. Base notes are musk, white woods, cedar, and amber. Now, this does smell fresh. It smells clean. I would put it in the same um, category as like Nirvana White from Elizabeth and James. However, this really reminds me of Toy 2 by um, Moschino. But it reminds me of toy 2 in a in a nice way because toy 2 just made me feel sick and that's not because it's not like a nice scent profile but there was something jarring about it to me because it's got that red currant it's got that really sharp kind of fruits in the top mixed with a very kind of clean musky pretty kind of scent and then it has like a lot of like florals you know oh i'm looking at these notes this is i think this is actually supposed to be a dupe but this is probably a dupe for blanche um <clears throat> but i found yeah i found it quite sickening toy two it was too strong it was too sweet for how sharp it was it just freaked me out it didn't dry it didn't work for me at all um but then uh, the notes in Toy 2 are apple, mandarin, orange, magnolia, middle notes, white currant, peony, jasmine, base notes, musk, sandalwood and amberwood. So <clears throat> I would not be surprised if this, being that I think this eau de toilette's quite new, is supposed to be a bit of a dupe. But let me just have a look at Blanche. Because Toy 2 is supposed to smell a lot like Blanche from Byredo. Um Let's have a look at that one. Okay, it's got quite different notes though. So it's got aldehydes and rose and peony and woodsy, musk, sandalwood. So there's no fruits listed in uh, Blanche, but I've heard people that I trust say that they um, uh, that they smell very similar indeed. And yeah, it's voted as, there's 321 votes that Toy 2 smells like Blanche by Byredo. So I imagine this is a dupe of possibly both of those. But... I'm not sure if it's just because it's not as strong maybe but i thought i i think this one's much nicer it doesn't have the same kind of cloying vibe that i got from toy 2 but you know <laughs> i've i don't think that i've ever come across a machino that really works for me because the only one i've ever smelled that i actually thought was nice on the card was i think it's called funny 
um, the one that's like a tea perfume. But when I tried that on my skin, because I think when I reviewed it, I'd only smell it on the card. And I was like, well, I don't need it because I've got loads of perfumes that smell a little bit like this. And then quite recently, just out of interest, I tried it on my skin and it just smelled like pencil shavings. It was horrible on me. And I think there's just something in machino perfumes that i think that house just does not work for me i just don't like it it doesn't suit my skin chemistry so i just wasn't keen on the smell of that one at all um whereas this one i'm looking forward to giving this a full wear ter test i tried it on my skin i thought it was fresh and pretty and nice and i was like okay this one's this one might be a, it might be a keeper um but it does it definitely does it definitely smells like toy too but this was about 15 pounds, I think, for 100 mil. So again, like Toy 2 isn't massively expensive, but you're probably looking at about 40 quid. So, you know, this is considerably cheaper. And yeah, I mean, it's very, very similar vibe because it has that ever so slight kind of white wine smell about it because of that, um, I think it's the white currant. Um, I think it's the apple and the white currant maybe even a slightly kind of tangy cider smell about it um yeah <laughs> this one's definitely worth a try if you like toy 2 or you like blanche by byredo but you're on like a mega budget i think this one's probably a really safe bet so yeah i mean i do recommend it even if it's got a ridiculous and foul smelling cap um you know it, it's kind of cool on its own anyway i'll just i'll just see if i can find hopefully i've got a lid that will, will go on this um if i actually want to keep it so yeah i mean interesting one though